Okay, today, 1959 Chevrolet Kingswood 9-passenger station wagon. This is a um, original red car that was restored, not by me. Um, found it uh, locally, and uh, it's headed to one of my guys that been looking for a 59 wagon for a long time. So it's pretty cool that we found an original red car. Um, close to original, but uh, let me show you some of the things that's going on here. Um, converted to alternator. It's a power brake car, no power steering. Original early intake and carb and air cleaner, but um, it's, a, it's a later 350 block. It's got some headers on it, so there are a few things going on here. You'll see it has a standard heater. Um, so different uh, options that you see on cars from California. And I can't close the hood because Bailey's kind of stuck there, but let's get him out of the way. Okay, he's good. All right, now, when they restored the car, some of the things they did, you know, this original aluminum is, uh, is originally it's anodized and has a nice high polished anodized finish and it's sealed off. Some guys, when they restore them, they put that stuff in a buffer and buff off all the anodizing, leaves the aluminum exposed and it'll oxidize, kind of like that. You can polish that stuff out, but um, uh, the way to go is really get it re-anodized, do it right. It's, um, it, when, they, when they did the car, they did a nice enough job that they replaced all the weather strip and the wind, the whiskers and the uh, in all the doors. So all the weather strip was done. Um, pretty nicely done restoration. It's got some age on it now. And like I say, it's the, the nine passenger model. Nice linoleum in there, headliner, no visors, I don't know where the visors are. Um, and like I say, the, uh, the car has some age on it and there we go again, those uh, anodized aluminum trim pieces that uh, have been de-anodized basically. Uh, some of the trim screws that uh, people use wrong and they rust you know here's a little damage right here and you can see how thin the aluminum is when they polish it and take off all the anodizing it weakens the aluminum as well um, chrome bumpers were done in uh, uh, probably a budget-minded thing so the chrome on the bumpers is not that great but uh, all in all a very good solid 59 Chevy wagon um, has the uh, power rear window and uh, it works from the switch here in the back works from the key here and works from up under the dash there's a switch there it's the same switch that the convertibles use for the convertible top and actually you see what it says on that switch handle it says top so that's uh, the wrong switch, or the wrong handle for it. Somebody with a convertible is looking for that. Um, nice doors. You know, look at the doors at the, at the seam here, all the way around, and it's good. All the doors are very good all the way around the car. Um, looking at all those door seams, it uh, looks like it's a pretty darn good car that they started with. So all those seams are really nice. Now, the car's a little dirty it was um, kept in a one of those uh, um, portable tent type type of things outside and uh, so it had dirt and dust and it's been raining here so it's uh, sitting outside in the in the rain the last week or so and you know can use some detail um, if I got some rubbing compound on those um, these things here and repolish them we could bring take that out but then it needs to be sealed up anodizing again is the right way to go but some guys put clear on them 
to keep keep them cleaned up for a while. But here's the here's the bumper stuff that uh, you get. A lot of the chrome guys that are at the swap meets they sell you some shiny chrome bumpers that are not really done well. Needs to have the proper uh, copper, nice heavy copper coat underneath the chrome plating so that it seals them off and they're looking good. But here's the here's the car. Um, I see that uh, one of the T3 lights is burned out there, but it's a that one's a T3 original. Nice Chevy 59 wagon. You just don't see these things around anymore. Um, it has the standard heater, the two button controls, and there you have it. I'll. Uh, I'll start it up and pull out the driveway a little bit. You know, it's got the headers, so it's it rumbles a little bit. And uh, it actually responds pretty well. So. Okay. Looks like uh, speedometer didn't work, did it? So, um, a few little things. It just uh, needs to be kind of given a little bit of detail and a little bit of time so that it's uh, good to go. And um, so there you go. 59 Chevy, nine passenger station wagon. Original red car. Cool. Hope you liked it.